In this video, I'm gonna share with you why I have to use this string in order to operate and get into my $100,000 Tesla Model S. Hey guys, what's going on? It's the Chevy Dude. Before I begin the content of this video, make sure you hit the subscribe button and turn all your bell notifications on so you don't miss an upload. Most importantly, if you communicate or contact the Bachman Auto Group in any sort of fashion, make sure you tell them that I'm the reason you are here and make sure that you ask for me so I can help you purchase your next car here at Bachman Auto Group. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're having a fantastic day. You guys know I own this 2013 Tesla Model S. Well, we have a little bit of an issue. We cannot access the car. We cannot get in the car. And that string I just showed you, yeah. We have to use that in order to gain access to this car. You won't believe this. This is absolutely crazy, absolutely insane, and goes with a lot of comments that are mis- commented, is that the way to say it? Miscommented on my post of what the general consumer think is the best way to buy a car. So everybody thinks that buying straight from the manufacturer is the way to go. It's the best service, the cheapest price. Well, let me tell you something. Um, that's not really the case. Let me show you. So uh, when the door handles presents itself, it simply, that happens and opens up. Let me show you this door here. Yeah, doesn't open, it's not working, can't get in. So in order for me to get into my car right now, I'm gonna have to crawl in. And of course my easy exit seat is all the way back. So I'll take my shoes off and six foot three Mike is hopping over everything so that I can get into my car inside the garage. Yikes, hey, I've made it into my car. Let's go. By the way, the inside works no problem. So the really cool thing about Tesla is that we just uh, got on our app and scheduled a service. Well, service is three weeks away. Yes, three weeks away. So I'm like, there's no way we can wait three weeks. This is, this is like crazy. This is a huge inconvenience, right? So I call Tesla. I'm like, hey, is there any one thing you can do for me? Can you give me a price? Can you do this? Can you do that? And eh, nothing, nothing. They didn't help in any way, shape or form. So with that being said, if I had an issue and I called dealership A and I say, hey, can you get me in today? And they're like, no, you know, blah, 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 blah. I just call another dealership, right? I can't do that with Tesla. I have one person to call and that's Tesla. And the closest Tesla dealership is two hours away from my house in either direction, east or north, and then three hours south of here. So uh, this is not convenient, it's not easy. So uh, I asked them, could you get me a loaner car? They said, no, we'll give you an Uber card so you can Uber back and forth until the car is can be fixed. I'm like, Uber? I, I live out in the country. I can't get an Uber out in the country, are you kidding me? So completely inconvenience. So for us to get into the car inside the garage, it's not an issue. We just leave the window down, right? And we can just put our hand in and, and open it up. Well when you go out and about into the community, gas station, grocery store, um, you know, work, whatever the case may be, that's an issue. So with no other viable option, I decided to come up with this cool idea. We come up here, presents itself. Don't you dare get in there. What are you doing? Dog, you're gonna get me in trouble if your mother finds out. Oh, just make yourself at home, dog. So I have that string right there. And so now what I do to get into my car is I pull the handle and now I can get into my car with no issue. Yep. All right, come on, get out of there. Let's go. Crazy dog. Hey, you're a good girl, Porsche. You didn't get in there. Yes, you are. So luckily I'm in so many Facebook groups out there that I can kind of start asking people what to do. And um, there are actually a couple of videos on the internet uh, that show what exactly what's wrong with this door handle. It's actually a very well-known Tesla problem. Obviously they're not gonna man up and fix this at no cost. I have to pay for that. And I'm getting cost of anywhere from a couple hundred dollars all the way up to over $700 to fix this handle. It's a pinched wire is what it is. The wire is probably broken on the inside and I can buy a, a kit for 180 bucks, but then it's gonna require probably two to three hours of my time in order to fix it because I've never done it before. I'm not keen on it. And then 
uh, there are pla there are little stickers on the inside of this door that if they're not placed on correctly or back correctly, then uh, the airbags could not deploy correctly. So there's a little bit of an issue there. If I do something wrong and we're in a side impact collision that the airbags don't work, that I've putting my family in danger. So I got Tesla coming out to the dealership and they're gonna fix it. I don't know how much it's gonna cost. Hopefully it's just a couple hundred bucks. They'll be make me happy, but I just don't really don't have the time to sit there for two or three hours and fix this door handle uh, that is a well-known Tesla problem. So there's just one instance of probably poor customer service in the best way that I can explain it with dealing with just directly with the manufacturer. So let's take this to the next level. Let's imagine that Chevrolet General Motors goes out and says, you know what, we're gonna pull every franchise agreement out there and we're gonna build one or two or three facilities depending on the geographical location. And that's the only places you can buy from or you can buy online and pick it up here. So with that being said, that they don't have enough people to service the cars, they don't have enough people to do anything out there, this is the kind of stuff that you're gonna be stuck with. And the frustration level, as I'm sure you can imagine, is gotta be through the roof when you have a car that you can't get fixed for three weeks and that you can't take anywhere to get fixed. If, if I could drop this off at a dealership and say, hey, if you get to it in three weeks, but I've got a car to drive, I don't care. That's not the case in, in here. I, I'm, I'm stuck with getting in this car, hopping into it like I was doing earlier in the video, trying to get into it when it first happened because it was in my garage and the, my passenger doors are up close to the building. So I can't get in. I have to, only way I can get in is through the back. So just one instance that I'm not articulating this the way I wanna articulate it, but I think you guys get my point. I think you guys see the frustration level from a consumer, right? I don't have anybody to call on this. I think you can kind of see that, but I'd like to see what you guys think. I'd love to hear what you guys think down in the comment section below. So let me know. It's just an interesting point of view on this. So I'll let you guys go here. Thanks again for watching. I hope you have a fantastic day. Make sure you hit the subscribe button, turn all your bell notifications on and leave a comment and a like for YouTube's algorithm. Have a great day, drive safely.